Let's talk low notes. In today's video, we're gonna talk about our lower range as singers, what shapes that range, and then what we can do to strengthen the bottom notes so we can get those juicy, raspy, rich tones like some of our favorite singers. Plus, as always, I'll take you through some practical voice exercises with the singing straw that will help you feel more power and connection in the bottom of your voice. new here, my name is Whitney Nicole, and I'm a singer, songwriter, vocal coach, studio owner, and creator of The Singing Straw, which is a helpful tool that helps singers around the world develop healthier, stronger, and more balanced voices. So if that sounds like something you're into, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button down below because we put videos out every week on just that. Link below for more info on The Singing Straw as well. So let's get into it. When talking about singing low notes well, it's important to briefly review what's happening at the vocal fold level as we sing throughout our range. So when we're speaking and singing in a chestier or more modal type of voice, our vocal folds are in a thicker, fatter coordination. So when they vibrate, a lot of that tissue is touching on each vibration. Then as we start to get higher, our larynx tilts and the vocal folds stretch and they have to move faster as you get higher in pitch. So as you get higher, your vocal folds are moving quicker pace and naturally that fatness in the lower part of your range it begins to thin out a little bit. So less of that tissue is touching on each vibration. Now in order for us to practice those lower notes, we really wanna reinforce that thicker, fatter sound that we get naturally in the bottom of our voice when we're talking. So a lot of the exercises we're gonna do today are gonna be geared towards bringing that speaky sensation, that talky sensation into your singing voice. So before we dive in, I do have a little disclaimer I wanna say on range, especially the lower part of our range. There's some of this that is outside of our control, meaning low notes and how low we can sing or speak, it has a lot to do with the shape and size of your vocal tract and your vocal folds. This also has to do with the stage of life you're in and your hormones, even in a day-to-day -day situation. For example, adrenaline when performing can make it harder to sing low notes. So these things are all related. For example, a nine-year-old boy, he might have a similar range to that of a 20-year-old woman. However, as that nine-year-old gets older and goes through puberty, and then testosterone is increased in his system, they're gonna get more fatness in the vocal folds as well as an increase in size of the vocal folds, which can lead to a lower range and lower notes. And something similar happens to women when they approach menopause later in life. With our hormones shifting, and again, an increase in testosterone, the voice tends to move downward in range. So these are just two extreme examples of voice shifts. And of course, as you go through life, remember our voice is part of our body. It's different every single day. It's growing and shifting through different seasons and hormones, and all of that is gonna impact your range. So what I like to focus on with singers is how to maximize what we have. Not necessarily try to change your voice or transform your range into something else or somebody else's, but much more of how do I best use what I have got, right? Best use what you've got. So keep that in mind for these exercises. And remember, you know your voice best, so trust yourself. If you feel like you might be pushing it a little too far, rein it back in, it's always cool. All right guys, so I want you to go ahead and grab your singing straw, and I want you to bump up a size from what you normally use. So if you normally use an original singing straw single, I want you to go ahead and use two. That's gonna increase your diameter and decrease the resistance. If you are in our pro kit, I tend to use the four millimeter here, or if that's your go-to, the four millimeter for your regular workout, then go ahead and double up so we can make that just a little bit bigger than you normally do. So we're gonna go ahead and take this just on a simple, a one, two, three, two, one. And what I'm doing here is really just focusing on a short amount of range to just settle into that lower part of your resonance to feel really good in that area. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it down the octave. Higher voices can sing with me. If this is a little too low for you to start, that's okay. Just join in when it becomes, when it starts to feel good for you, okay? So here we go. Take your time, feel this. Notice, where do you feel it in your body? Do you notice any sympathetic vibration? And pay attention 
tension when your voice might start to stretch a little. So you might notice as you get a little higher that the tone's shifting a little bit. Some voices transition a little earlier than others. So really we're thinking fat, thick, talky. Just one more and then we'll turn it around. As you come back down, you guys really just think about anchoring into the bottom of your voice. Again, really find that chestiness, that talkiness. Okay, and we're gonna take it all the way down. Now take it as low as you can go. Got more, keep with me. My piano needs to be tuned, I apologize. Now you might have dropped out by now. Not necessarily proud of this range. I used to sing alto two in my acapella group. I could sing that C3. But if you're with the piano, it's a C2. That's, all I, that's my bottom. I'll do one more for you guys. Someone call me a piano tuner. <laughs> awesome job. I know we didn't start with a slide today, so why don't you go ahead and throw one in there now. Um, we're gonna now take the lowest that we can resonate on and then take it nice and slow all the way up through your range. Again, why not stretch to the top even if we're not working the upper register? It's nice to just get that full body stretch, full voice stretch if you know what I'm saying. Very good. So if you heard the very end there, I did a little bit of a fry, a vocal fry. So we're gonna bring in a little vocal fry here. Now you might have heard the term vocal fry and a lot of people talk about it in terms of how obnoxious it can be in speech because it's become such a norm for a lot of uh, people to use it in speech. For example, Kim Kardashian and there's a whole hilarious video on YouTube if you haven't seen it where it's just all of these different clips of her <laughs> speaking in fry. So vocal fry is just essentially something that sounds like this. Uh, Okay, so that's when the vocal folds are going really slowly and you're getting this like kind of irritating uh, little prickly sound there, right? Uh, now, it has a bad rap and admittedly, there's a reason for that. It's, it's very annoying, um, especially when it's out of control, but it's got a place in vocalizing and there's nothing wrong with using a little bit of fry to stretch the vocal folds um, and kind of like push your range in it in a certain way. So I actually like to use vocal fry on the bottom of my range. Uh, and again, if you have any kind of vocal injury or if you're recovering, I would stay away from this. Uh, the vocal fry can sometimes be a little bit uh, irritating on voice and or just make sure if you are rehabbing from something, don't do this without like a professional or a vocal coach with you um, or uh, better yet, like a laryngologist or an SLP. Um, so again, vocal fry we're gonna use if you're feeling really healthy. If not, skip this one. But I want you to go ahead and try to make that sound with me for just a second. Uh, 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 very nice. So let's see if we can make that in the straw. It's a little silly. <laughs> it does kind of feel like you're just settling into the very bottom of your voice, like a little froggy. So I want you to go ahead and practice fraw into fry, fraw, fry into some sound. Cool. Now again, that's gonna be the very, very bottom of your range. So now we're gonna take a fry into the slide.
Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and now take an exercise. We're gonna do this octave arpeggio that we've done a lot. So first I'm gonna have you do it with the double straw. Then I'm gonna have you alternate with a ba, okay? Now, we're using this vowel consonant combination because it's helpful when it comes to lower notes and that chestier, talkier coordination. It helps to encourage that fattier, fatter sound. Fattier, fatter. Um, <laughs> so, it is. Ba, 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 ba. So that's what you're gonna do. My lower voices, you can be there. In fact, I'll play with you down there. And if you are upper range, sing with me. Try it with me. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Now be careful, I don't want you getting, the whole point of this is to bring in that chesty or talky sound. So if you're kind of getting really pretty with it, ba, 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 ba. That is not what I'm asking for here. I want you to really kind of get sing talky with it. Ba, 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 ba. Like I would say, hey, there's a bat. It was just Halloween. My kid loved talking about bats. Ba, 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 ba. I should be a comedian. Ba, 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 ba. So again, you're keeping that chesty sound on the bottom, that chesty sensation, the really talkiness. Now, as you get higher though, you're gonna notice you need to stretch and tilt and get a little bit of that upper register as well. I don't want you yelling through this. So don't let your volume get out of control. Watch out if you start sounding like this. Ba, 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 ba. No, nah, I don't want that. Keep your volume chill and let it stretch. But that bottom, the bottom part of this register should, and this exercise should really be anchored. Ba, 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 ba. Got it? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Turn it back around. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. And now we're gonna bring it all the way down. Ba, 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 ba. Just like on the last exercise. Ba, 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 ba. Bring it all the way down to that fry, okay? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Now, as we get lower, you guys, I don't want you reaching for the low notes, getting dopey and kind of going, huh, ba. Right? That's actually going to make it harder. Keep that talky sensation. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Okay? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. If you've got it. Only goes voice as far as your voice wants to go. Ba, 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 ba. Remember, this is making the most of what you have. Not pushing yourself. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. That's probably the bottom for me. I'll do a couple more for you guys. Very nice job.
Awesome guys, how is that feeling? Are you noticing the sensations when you're getting a lot of richness and ease in the lower notes? Again, it's similar to the higher notes where it's just that we're always looking for ease in the voice, right? And it's just gonna sound and feel and you're gonna have different sympathetic vibrations and perceptions as you get in the sweet spot, if you will, of different parts of your range. So the last exercise we're gonna do, same thing, you're sticking with that larger diameter and we're just gonna do five tone descending scale, so. We'll then go ahead and pair it with a ba, 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 ba. Okay, same kind of thing we used on the last one. Um, I will play it down the octave for my lower voices, and then we're just gonna take this down. So this is just kind of like from the middle of our voice coming all the way down, kind of seeing where we can settle in and how that feels in our lower notes. So don't push it, just take it easy, keep your volume chill, and let's go. Ba, 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 ba. Getting really talky with it, right? Not singing too pretty. Keep it ba ba ba, just like you're speaking. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. If you've got them, keep going. Ba 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Keep it talky. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Might be close to my end. Ba, 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 ba. That's it for me. Two more for my low notes. Last one. Awesome job. How do you feel? Let me know down in the comments how this workout was for you and your voice. And while you're down there, please go ahead and maybe hit that like and subscribe button. So that way you know when our weekly videos drop. Thanks so much for singing with me today, you guys, and I will see you next week.